having my family here is, uh, I wouldn't want to have anybody else here but my mom and dad and my family, my friends, and it's just good to have them here and to know that they're there with me and that they're going to be rooting for me and that they're proud of me. He uh, guides me through a lot of things uh, as far as records are concerned and uh, choosing songs and helping me with that department, but he's a very good friend. He has always been a part of my family. I, I can't remember doing much of anything else beside that, really. Um, it is, uh, it's there, it's always been there. <laughs> I sing when I'm cooking, I sing around the house. Uh, I, I do. Um, I'm, I don't go, you know, to the extremes of, uh, you know, uh, practicing. Um, I sing enough. <laughs> That's enough practice for me. Arrivata a Roma per presentare il suo più recente disco tratto da Long Playing di Proxima Uscita With Me, dal titolo I Wanna Dance With Somebody Who Leave Me. Se una persona cresce nell'ambiente dei gospel di chiesa come sono cresciuta io, questa musica corale di gruppo ti rimane dentro. È come un bagaglio dell'anima, è come un modo di essere, di vedere e di vivere. Non te ne puoi liberare nemmeno se poi canti della normale pop music. Oggi ho un sogno, fare un album di gospel e spiritual, perché questa è la mia musica e sarà sempre parte di me. I have never heard her sing in public, but this is the night and I'm real excited. Arriving straight from her smashing debut concert at Carnegie Hall to a party at New York City's Palladium celebrating her success and being presented with a double platinum album by Arista Record President Clive Davis, who explains what Whitney's magic is. It was genuineness. You know, you look for a great interpreter of song and it's not easy to come by. There's only one of a generation. It's going to take a whole lot of time before she learns everything that she knows, but she's got a, she's a Leo and she's kind of hard headed and all that kind of business, but I love her, she's sweet, and she is a really good girl, but I told her, her and I are going to have a good talk. <laughs> now, Whitney, you were just called hard headed from your mama, what do you have to say to that? Well, this is my mother, what do you expect? She has three of us, two boys and a girl, I mean, you know, give me a break. With all of the adulation that goes with being a star, is Sissy Houston going to treat her daughter any differently? Not me. Not her. Not me. Not her. <laughs> she knows the real deal. <laughs> Basic love, you know, uh, sacrificing for children. Um, that's what it was most important. Yeah. I think being her daughter and watching a mother, a woman, a lady, she taught me all those things, you know, that uh, are important to a woman's life. You know, musically, my mother is master at it. She uh, showed me all the ropes and taught me about the business before I was put out there so that I was prepared at least for that. Whitney used to scream in the basement <laughs> and I, when I say scream I mean scream when she was a child and uh, my husband and I used to be sitting he said do I have to listen to this you know I said yeah one day she might be something. What sort of guidance do you give Whitney now? Well I sit back and I, you know when it all comes down <laughs> If there's mom, I go right home. <laughs> I go and say, Mom, I want to climb in bed with you, and that's what I do. And we sit and we talk. I'm resting right now in between doing videos, but um, I go on tour in April in Europe, so that's next. That is a beautiful song. It was written beautifully, and I gave it all that I had, so we'll see what happens. Founded by famous friends, including Tony Bennett, Dionne Warwick, and Bobby Brown, as she was honored for her work with the United Negro College Fund, and for her positive influence on young people. With hard work and determination and with dedication, you can do it. And I think that's, that's uh, influence enough. I mean, I don't even, it's nothing that I expected or nothing that I planned to happen, but it did. So when it does, you just go, oh, okay. You know, you just sort of try to be cool about it, you know, but inside you're like, wow. Wow is right. In just three years, Whitney Houston has become quite possibly the most popular female vocalist in the world. And all I can say is, she's a beautiful lady and a frightening, a frightening singer. I figure that if I um, give, you know, that fire and give that, that love that I'm trying to exude to them, that they'll give it back to me. So it's, you know, it's sort of like a give and take kind of thing. And that's what I mean when I want to feel them. You know, I want to be able to feel them feel me. She performed in front of, uh, you know, a great mass of people. 
and to have them, you can see way in the back, you know, the response, and you can see people up in the air, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting, you know, it's really, really is to know that you're standing there, you're singing, and you're, you know, giving it all you can. She's uh, the queen of soul, and uh, if, if I can, I can't even describe it, all I can tell you is I can feel it, you know, it's just that deep, it's just right from there, you know. <laughs>